Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play the Bureau, XCOM Declassified, and let's continue the game where we left the off. Now heading towards engineering, but first let's go around the base. See if we can chat up some new information with our colleagues. Looking for a few answers? If you get any insights, let us know. Will do, Carter. For meeting folk. Yes? I'm going to get some answers. Good luck. Nothing over here. Okay, well, let's go to the lab. Talk with Paul. the Martians by building our own flying saucers? Shut it, will ya? Nobody's supposed to know about They say these people's eyes are black. Just solid black. Are you serious? Why? What's wrong with them? I don't know, but they keep saying the same thing over and over. Attention all personnel. Outsider interference continues to scramble long range communication efforts. I'm sure Falk has the lab coats finding some way to track them down. Wasn't the spy invisible? How are they gonna know if there's another one around watching? Carter, join me. I don't like it when my agents go off the rails, Carter. Never ignore my orders again. You're lucky things turned out as well as they did with Dr. Weir's rescue. I'll overlook it this time. I understand the situation is getting to you. Weaver tell you that? Or you just figured it out on your own? I need to know I can trust you, Carter. I took a big risk including you in this operation. And I'm about to take another. In case you forgot, I was the one who caught the infiltrator. I'm well aware. And you're going to help us interrogate the captain. But we absolutely cannot afford another breach. Especially not now. We can't afford to let any of our information become public. What do you have planned? A way to strike back. To win the war. You saw what they did to Groom Range, Falk. We barely got out alive. How do you expect to strike back against something like that? With this. We just need the right target. We're hoping the Infiltrator can help us there. What do we know about the Infiltrator? We've been running a barrage of tests on it. Preliminary interrogation, medical checks. The boys in the lab even took a look at the devices implanted in him. Find anything useful? We don't even know his name. Or if his kind even have names. But we have reason to believe he'll be more responsive now. What happened? Lock him in solitary for a couple weeks? You might be closer than you think. In a recent examination, our surgeons removed this from his head. We think it's some kind of communication device. He was bugged? We're not sure. Weir thinks it was his connection to Mosaic. That's their communication network. According to Dr. Weir, yes. Whatever it is, ever since we removed this thing, the infiltrator's been less aggressive, more morose. Interesting. How do we know we can take them out in one strike? Weir's been studying their transmissions, and he believes they're coming from a single source. That's this mosaic thing they talk about? Yes. The doctor says his measurements prove that it's some sort of central command, possibly even a single being. And if our tests are correct, it is indeed more than just some sort of radio network. How so? After studying the infiltrator's implants and physiology, 
We believe it connects directly to the minds of the Outsiders. So if we take out Mosaic's core, we shut down every Outsider on this planet. That's the idea. But we need to know more. That's an impressive... flying saucer you've built. Actually, the Air Force was already toying with a prototype like this. Our German associate just made a few modifications, including everything we could steal from the Outsiders. How does it handle? When it's finished, it'll be faster and more maneuverable than anything in the skies. Can it get through those Venn gates of theirs? That's what we need you to find out. I'll see what I can get out of the Infiltrator. Good. We've got him in a containment center in the lab, built especially for him. Got his own luxury suite, huh? That ought to soften him up. Don't count on it. How gentle do I need to be? Just be careful. He's the only captive we have. Okay, so that's our next objective. Interrogate so the infiltrator. Can you move in any direction? Like a helicopter? Yes, if a helicopter was twice as durable, five times faster, and could fly through a vacuum. Ah, that makes quite a difference. Shut it down! Shut it down before it blows! No, wait! We need to test the threshold! Yes, we really should see when it explodes! Are you two crazy? Shut it down! Did you see that list? Wunderbar! Never before have I seen it equal. Sure, if you don't mind your crew splattered all over the walls. Of course, of course. But that is why we do this radio control test beforehand, yeah? There's no way you're getting me in one of those flying saucers until you work out the eject system. Nonsense. If we are careful and precise in our work, we will have no need of ejection systems. We might not need one. But I'm the one who's gonna be piloting that thing. I still don't understand why you don't want us to design weaponry for this new craft. Yes, we have a very promising prototype. No! Nine! Serious. They got him here, locked up for interrogation. So, the one place we know is safe, just when we've got everything operational. Got a little bit of background about mu mutants. Maybe we'll find some information about the sectoids or the outsiders. Let's explore here before we'll, uh, I'll head to. Calm yourself, Doctor. Irrationality will not help us identify enemy infiltrators. Calm? While you perform tests on men, like livestock. These tests serve to protect them, and after all, they are all volunteers. Maybe, but we're still not certain of what side effects. Hmm. Outsider Commander. Ah, 
Ah, William. Welcome to our newly refitted laboratory. I'm certain that Dr. Veer would love to give you a tour of the facilities. Yeah, Herr Doctor? Yes, of course. I'll just leave Heinrich to his tests. Down here is what we call the workshop. It's where we test the new equipment and applications. It's all quite experimental, so don't use anything here until it's been cleared for the field. Just a minor change. You would have done it yourself. In time. Ivan, you're the one who did it today. If I'm not careful, you'll be replacing me as head of this project. And take away your prized work? Anyway, what was it you wanted to show me? What? Oh, it's these new transmissions that we've been receiving. Dr. Rossi believes I may be extraterrestrial in origin. Take a look. Extraterrestrial transmissions. You don't say. Think of it. Intelligent life on other worlds. A culture more advanced than ours reaching across the void to welcome us to the brotherhood of the stars. Alan, you're making some rather dangerous assumptions. Oh, I know it could be nothing. Some Soviet trick, perhaps. But think, Lawrence. If it really is from another planet, why, someday, our Zengate project could bridge our world. Yes, I suppose that could be possible. Why, this could be the start of a new chapter in human history. Yes, I'm afraid so. Here we go. As you see, we have the automated turret deployed, but it cannot draw a line of sight on any targets. You can lift a target out from behind its cover to get a clear shot. But if you face many targets, it might be a better option to lift your turret instead. Go ahead and try. The engineers are especially proud of the gyroscopic stabilization that makes that possible. It'd be a shame not to put it to use in the field. Is that all? The boys in the lab just wanted to make sure you knew all your options in the field. Never know when it'll come in handy. As you may have guessed from the glow, this is where we store element 115, or Illyrium. Understanding it is vital to our ability to adapt and adopt outsider technology. But so far our results have been mixed, at best. But I'm sure you didn't come here just for a guided tour. I'll leave you to your duties, William. Have a chat. Agent Carter, I fear I haven't properly expressed my gratitude for the rescue you provided me. Just happy to have a man like you on board. We need all the help we can get. Appreciate it, Carter. I hope I live up to your expectations. Shame we couldn't rescue more survivors from Rosemont. Yes, of course. At the very least, it would be a tremendous help to have Lars here. He was an outsider, Doctor. That didn't keep him from being an excellent lab assistant. And a friend. Did you know that your assistant was one of them? Yes, well, believe it or not, I'm as shocked as you. More so, I dare say. He was so dedicated, so curious. But that's no excuse. I mean, how could I have been such a fool? You're lying. I'm supposed to believe you worked side by side with an enemy operative and never had any idea. And they call you a genius. Believe what you will, Agent. I was fooled by someone I came to care quite deeply about. I don't expect you to fathom the intricacies of human emotion, but I don't care for your insinuations. I am as much a patriot as any enlisted man. They didn't hire me for my sensitivity, Doc. Sorry if my heart doesn't go out for a traitorous alien. The question is, traitorous to whom? He provided us with invaluable information. Your assistant mentioned something called Mosaic. Said you were the key to it. Seemed to have something to do with the measurements you were taking. Any idea what he meant by that? I don't know much about it at all. Other than it controls the Venn gates connecting our worlds. And it also seems to exact some degree of influence over the denizens of that world. As to why Lawrence regarded me as the key to it remains a mystery. But what is it? Is it a, a thing? Or a person? What is it? I wish I knew, Agent. 
It could be any number of things, natural force, a psychological disorder. One thing is certain, however, it does seem to be accessible via physical technology. The people we saw back there, the stuck ones, the ones who can't stop doing the same thing over and over. What's the skinny on them? Are they us? Or are they them? To be honest, I haven't the foggiest. I can say it was horrifying to witness my students, one by one, falling victim to the condition. How does it operate? Why does it only take some people? A mystery as yet, but one I aim to get to the bottom of. I did notice trends, more students than professors, more whites than blacks. Nothing I can yet identify as the source. Before I go, tell me, why are you so valuable? Falk seems to think we can't win this thing without you. I suppose he regards the work I've been doing with ARPA as essential. I've been tracking audio signals gathered via telemetry. I shot my findings around the scientific community for months. Anything concrete? Only subtle results, but Myron, Director Falk, recognized their import. I thought it was merely a curious anomaly, but he felt it was a warning. Guess now we know who was right. Then go talk with the prisoner. I'm telling you, this thing is going to be to immobilize targets in the field? Among other things, it's been a big help in construction, too. Seems like it'd be a revolution for aircraft, too. Oh, you haven't heard about the other project? What are you talking about? Nothing. Whoa, 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 get me down! All right, now let's go talk with them. of notes. Uh, and here's there's also a site mission notification. I 
the time I saw what they truly were, it was too late to escape. I'm a scientist, Mr. Volk. I understand physics, fluid dynamics, chemical reactions. But I cannot see the future. I cannot predict the horrors of my fellow men. We can't offer you atonement, Doctor. But we can offer you a chance to use your skills to help people. What did you want to talk about? Yes, we've had a bit of a mishap, William. Ah, oh, great. As you know, our most pressing goal is to develop a test to determine the uh, humanity of our personnel, if you will. We've had a breakthrough, discovering a signal which causes the Zillicoids to become quite agitated. But as you can see... Your test subjects escaped? Indeed. Perhaps the signal agitated them a bit too much. Why haven't we been put on alert? Mit our current tension, can you imagine how people would panic? I'd rather we keep this little incident between ourselves, William. What exactly do you need me to do? The Zillicoids are likely to be hiding in the ventilation or other subsystems. Their distinctive trail should make it easy for you to track them and destroy them. Good hunting. Before we do that, let's talk with the <clears throat> prisoner. The infiltrator's right inside, Agent Carter. If you need anything, just ask. I see you gave up on the disguise. Done playing dress-up? This one can no longer hide. Those systems were corrupted by your scientists. Yeah. Gloat all you want about your superior technology, while we've got you tied to a chair with a rope. You want revenge for your fellow warrior. Go ahead and take it. Nothing you do will stop the Zujari. We're gonna pay a visit to your home, and you're gonna help us get there. A counter-invasion? Ha! The more you resist Mosaic, the more you will bring death to your world. You think you have seen our strength? This is just an expeditionary force preparing the way for our armies. We will destroy you. We'll see about that. It's simple. You will join our empire or you will die. For us, there are no other choices. Our white coats say there's been a change in your attitude ever since they yanked this device out of your head. I want to know what the hell it is. It is many things. A shield. A beacon. Our focus. It is mosaic. Without it, we are... I am alone, unsure, impure of thought. What exactly is Mosaic? You would think of it as a broadcast, a network. Each of us are connected to it. It unites us. That's how you receive your orders. Our orders, our faith. Mosaic delivers truth, or perhaps what Origin decides is the truth. Why don't you just do yourself a favor? Just talk straight to me, and tell me about this origin. Maybe we can help you. You are more civilized than would be expected for such divided creatures. It is not a weakness. Nothing is as I thought. Nothing is as Origin told us. Listen, I'm fighting for the survival of my entire race here. Give me something to work with or you'll find out what I'm willing to do for my world. You have already seen what we are willing to do for our own dying world. What Origin has forced us to do for our world. Forced me to do to other worlds. You don't have to let Origin control you. Tell us how to stop him and you can be free. We can destroy Mosaic. You can all be free. Yes, but Mosaic cannot be destroyed. Mosaic is not a single place, not a solid thing. And soon it will consume your people as it has so many, as it did mine. You're wrong. 
We've traced Mosaic's transmissions to a single location. If we can get there, your people can be free. A myth spread by the few who are deaf to Mosaic. I used to think they were mad, but perhaps... Here's proof. A source for Mosaic's transmissions. If we get there, we can put an end to it. But without Mosaic, without Origin's guidance, my people... We will never find a new world. Your people could come here without conquest. Wouldn't be the first time immigrants came to our shores. We'll help you fight for your freedom. And in return, you can live in the land of the free. William Carter. My thoughts are my own for the first time in my life. If there is a chance that others can know this... freedom, I will tell you what you want to know. To survive the crossing, you will need an instrument that can recalibrate quantum structures. Such a device can be acquired from one of our ships, which you can find only at one of our docking stations near a Ven gate. Thank you. Once we've stopped Origin, your people will thank you too. information. Nice work in there, Carter. I bet the director will want to tell you that himself. Was he watching? You even have to ask that question? He's waiting for you in ops. Let's do that side mission. We demand to have access to the outside. We have vital questions that demand answers. Yes, we're I found the first of Heinrich's blobs. How do we don't have more of them in here? If there was another. How could somebody leave a mess like that? Whoa, Carter! Have a little decency, would you? What the hell's happening in there? Jesus, get that thing out of here! Oh, come on, Carter! Get it!
And here I thought I had a nice quiet desk job. Okay, so much for that. So let's talk to Heinrich. Probably get up, save, and then cut the video. Mm. containment room just for him. And if it was you in charge, I'd take my chances out there. Where was that? all personnel, we have received unconfirmed reports that the outsiders have made Savannah, Georgia a primary target. Damage is said to be near total. Update will follow. Heinrich's been going crazy about propulsion, propulsion systems and radial aerodynamics or something. Whatever they're building is going to be big. Where was Heinrich at lunch? In engineering, working on his new pet project. Lucky duck. Officer, you're new here, aren't you? Yes, sir. They rescued me up from outside Louisville. You've been brought up to speed? Yes, sir. Prisoner is secure, mostly docile, and Falk has things in hand. I'd say it's going pretty well. We could use more of that kind of optimism around here. Really, sir? It seems like you've got things in hand here. In the base, maybe. But most of these people haven't seen what it's like out in the field. Right now, they're still excited to be alive and kicking. But if it starts getting worse out there, well, they'll need someone who can keep a smile on their face. How's the infiltrator? The containment room was designed to act as both a brig and a lab, so he's well contained. Not that he's been trying to get out. You think he's planning something? Can't say for sure. Any other prisoner, yeah, but since they removed that controller thing from his head, he's been a different man. <laughs> or I guess I should say, different creature. How much do you trust Falk? I trust him with my life, sir. After all, if it weren't for him and his teams, I'd still be out there. You said you were rescued from outside Louisville? Yes, sir. Fort Knox in particular. Agent De Silva and his team were recovering something from high-value storage. And I thought they were looters. Well, that could have gone poorly. Not really. I don't know about you, but I ask questions before I start shooting. They were only too happy to bring me back, once they were certain I was human. How exactly did they prove that? Just like checking for Reds. Seeing the Star Spangled Banner, ask what happened in the most recent episode of Captain Thunderclap, and so on and so on. That's all. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Danke schön, William. With your aid, we will soon be able to uncover any remaining infiltrators. I hope you're more careful in the future, Doctor. Yes, yes, of course. And for your discretion, perhaps this will be of use to you. Ah. Oh. We got a little bonus mission. Unlock dispatch mission. Nanotechnology bow new hammer. And in those we can dispatch agents. We'll then gain experience. Hmm. Seems like the game didn't save, so I'm gonna cut the video here and continue from this point. So when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the next mission. It might be a side mission to gain some more experience and equipment and we can then dispatch some of our agents to gain some experience but that'll be the next video until then as always i'll see you when i see you later